YouTube. <laughs> it is December 21st, 2022. Ray Horvath Productions coming at you. It's been a long time since I put a video up, guys. My apologies. Um, just crazy, crazy, crazy at work, but that's okay. That is a good thing. Um, had a major issue that I'm going to tell you guys about, but before I do that, I'm going to uh, hit tell you to do a couple things first please hit that like and subscribe button it really helps the youtube algorithm to help the channel out it doesn't cost you guys anything um just go ahead and do that for me i would highly appreciate it um the major issue um well let me touch on the miles first we about twelve thousand four hundred as we speak right now so up there in miles but still running uh good except for the major issue that i just had repaired and yes it's a little windy out here so i do apologize for that <coughs> and my my throat is a little scratchy so i apologize for that as well got mrs horvath ray horvath productions with me in there she's of course on her phone and um basically ignores me when i do my videos but that's fine so a little over 12,400 miles this is the 2020 uh krx and the issue was i've had the entire cvt system basically fail the primary and the secondary more so the primary and what was happening is as you would put it in gear and you would start to accelerate from a stop you would get this jerking mo noise noise <laughs> jerking motion and noise Kind of like um, it's a belt that's going bad or a belt that's slipping or something along those lines. Well, that's what I thought it was. So took it in, bought a new belt, uh, had it replaced. Turns out that wasn't what was going on at all. What was going on is, and I'm going to throw video of the primary and the secondary up here. But what was going on is the belt was cutting in to the metal itself and it was creating these grooves that are basically inside um on the primary and the secondary now and the belt was riding on these grooves and causing it to act almost like a, a jump or switching gears if you will very very strange you kind of think of it like a 10 speed back back in the day when you had a 10 speed with the chain on those gears kind of had la layers of grooves like that that the belt would ride there and even though the uh, cvt was opening and closing it would the belt would get caught on those grooves um either trying to um come up or go down so it was acting very very strange and it cut into the metal more so on the primary than on the secondary but since you have it apart there's no reason not to replace both of them which i did um and i will tell you guys something it is not cheap the parts you're looking at almost uh 2100 there is no aftermarket solution at this point and with labor um big shout out to josh at throat punch performance love those guys um came out to about 2400 bucks but that's the thing um that i couldn't understand why would this happen so in talks with kawasaki and my emails back and forth um it turns out that some of the metal on these first generation primary and secondaries is of a softer nature and it's more malleable if you will and as it would get hot um the belt was cutting in to those that metal now the replacement primary and secondary that came straight from kawasaki like i said there is no aftermarket solution yet on the market that i'm aware of um if you guys find one and i'd like to know about it drop a you know a comment below but um the second generation is supposed to be uh different metal uh different density and it's supposed to be a lot more durable than these first generation ones. So we're gonna, of course, test the theory on that after we put more miles on this. Now I am gonna do a side note in here. My side note is I've been using aftermarket belts 
that are supposed to be really, really high quality belts. Um, I put it in some of my other videos, World's Strongest Belt. There are several brand names behind that, but the, the materials in the belt are Kevlar and much more denser rubber on these aftermarket belts that uh, prevent it, of course, from failing and gives the belt <clears throat> its strength and a lot better uh, longevity, if you will. Now, I'm not going to say that that caused it, but I will say that uh, the belt looks almost perfect when it was taken out. So I don't know if it's a combination of the metal being, you know, softer and the belt being stronger and it just kind of wore its way through as it got hot. <clears throat> Not saying that in any way, shape or form, but I will say this, I think I'm gonna stick to OEM for right now and see what happens um, on my next belt inspection with these new um, clutch system in here. So that being said, guys, uh, complete, complete strange failure. And I hope the light can show you the grooves in there. I try to get in as close as I can. Not so much on the secondary as the primary, but if I run my finger across here, you, it should be completely smooth and it is not. It's just, you can feel the grooving and this should be completely smooth surface but anyway um jerkin 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 uh definitely thought it was a belt turned out to be that now i have both uh new primary and secondary in there i did not pull out the aftermarket clutch weights that i put in um if you look at my other video i can drop a link to that somewhere around here um and the reason I didn't take those clutch weights out, I still have them in the old primary, is because in addition to the newer clutch system from Kawasaki, the metal being of a different um, type of metal or more dense metal, the new clutch weights that come in the 21 and 22 versions of the KRX, uh, they're supposed to be a different metal as well, and they don't wear as much as the first generation which is my unit the 2020 so i left those in there we're going to test the theory on that and see what happens after we put more miles on it uh just got it out of the shop a few days ago so um we'll see and go from there but i can tell you so far it's very smooth and it feels like the day i bought it i'm going to leave you with one side note and right before this started occurring I noticed an abnormal temperature on the belt indicator. Now, some of you know this, you should all know this. I'm just gonna come in here briefly and turn this on. It's not gonna show. But the KRXs are equipped with a clutch temperature indicator on the 2020. The newer ones are much nicer, but you have levels that show you when it's getting super hot and when it's um, in the nominal temperature. I will say this, before I had this issue, even in cold weather, I was getting up to four bars and it had never done that before. So I think in a combination with the wear, it was uh, creating more friction, more heat, which just compounded the problem and it, it made it get worse over time and it basically multiplied geometrically and made it wear quicker as time went on but that's a side note so watch your temperature indicators guys really close if you own one of these pay attention to that especially if it's been you're used to it hanging around one or two bars and the weather's not hot and all of a sudden you see it getting up into that the extra bar extra two bars wasn't normal and that happened just as i started having this issue so i'll leave you with that uh, as always, I appreciate everybody. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And thank you very much for watching.